at jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I'd like you to get comfortable, ideally laying down on your bed. If you are listening to this, uh, sitting in a chair, make sure that the chair has sides to it, like an armrest, so that when you fall asleep, you're securely, safely in the chair. That's very important. And before I go further, I'd just like to say a big shout out to Rachel. So, so now What you might notice if you listen regularly is as soon as you hear my voice, you start to relax. And that's a good sign. So you might even feel that when you press the play button. You may even feel more relaxed just at the thought. Listening to one of my recordings. So that's a great thing. Because your body and your mind have started to prepare for the process of relaxing and then drifting to sleep. Because sleeping is so natural, it almost makes sense that your body and your mind will take whatever opportunity it is presented with to take advantage of that opportunity in order to sleep. Now I'm going to talk a bit about positivity. And you might get a bit bored and drift off to sleep anyway. But this is something that's really important when it comes to sleeping. It's also important parts of your life and my life and I'm going to focus on well for example if you go on Facebook you'll see people saying how uh, talking about uh, sleeping issues like it's actually a physical thing. Talking about the maybe their insomnia, like it's an actual, like it's a table, a physical thing that's actually there, instead of an idea, instead of something that isn't tangible, it isn't something that you can hold in your hand, it doesn't really exist, you know, as a thing, it's an idea, it's self-talk, and you can choose what self choose what you say to yourself, in other words, you can choose what you tell yourself, a lot of people insist on telling themselves that they have problems sleeping, they insist on telling themselves that their mind races every night, 
they insist on telling themselves and other people, of course, that they never get any sleep, which is untrue. They just don't realise that they have fallen asleep at times. This is scientific fact. Because if someone didn't get any sleep, ever, then, to sleep it's not an option and that's where it comes in the whole idea of choosing to do something that actually is not an option we have to sleep we have no choice the only choice we make is when we sleep we choose when we do it and sometimes that can go against us because some people are night owls I'm kind of like that myself I sleep better during the day than I do at night I can fall asleep with a lawnmower going outside during the day the slightest sound at night seems to wake me up during the day I don't know, it's just how I am naturally. But I discovered years ago that we all sleep. But the thing that people remember is that lying in bed waiting to go to sleep. It's like the old uh, saying is never want a kettle boil because it takes forever of course it doesn't but if you're wanting something if you're trying to force something that's almost out of your control to do something it doesn't seem to want to do it and there's another thing they say an observer affects the experiment expect to see is more likely what we will see what we expect to notice when we watch something is what we're more likely to notice you can do these play these games with children on car journeys notice how many red cars you see in the next 10 minutes you'll see so many red cars notice them before so I guess you know there's a huge psychological component towards falling asleep yet at the same time it's the most natural thing ever and I'll keep repeating this because it's true and I know that there are some Conditions the big boy have that can perhaps get in the way of sleeping in a normal way, whether it be medication, physical condition, chronic pain, uh, all kinds of things like that, mental illness. I mean, the mental illness perspective with bipolar. Personality, emotionally unstable personality disorder. I've also got chronic pain in my lower back and my shoulder, which affects how I sleep. I also have sleep apnea, which affects how I sleep. Apart from also needing to sleep during the day. So I'm coming from a 
is from a perspective of well from a, a perspective that some of you may be coming from it's always personal for each person was a light sleeper and I still am mostly but everybody every single person has a period when they're asleep where you wouldn't wake up by anything you literally are just completely dead to the world for a long time but it's an important part of your sleep but everyone goes through it and I know some people may say well you say that I sleep but then why am I so tired every day you may not get enough sleep but you do get sleep get enough for your health like the basic everyone gets generally over time maybe this is your day or two but generally you will get enough sleep because your body will force you to go to sleep your mind will shut down and you will fall asleep if it's needed that's why you should drive a car when you're really tired or if you haven't had enough sleep or of course when you're listening to me because I'll just bore your mind <laughs> you just fall asleep anyway so the positivity surrounding how you speak to yourself how you tell other people about yourself it has a big impact on your sleeping ability so I'm not going to focus on the, on the negative side of what you may say to yourself I'm going to focus on what you could say to yourself the positive for example sleeping is natural to me or the fact that I was born with the ability to sleep naturally sleeping is my birthright all of those things are true whether or not they feel true when you first say them isn't important because the more you say them the more they start to sink in and the more you say them the more you start to believe what you are saying to yourself and the more you believe what you are saying to yourself those things will become true to you because your mind is so powerful the things that you say to yourself the thoughts that you have affect how you feel they affect your ability to do things Whether or not this feels comfortable, whether or not this feels like a lie, or it feels that you're just, you know, it doesn't feel real or true, just do it anyway. No one's ever been harmed by telling themselves something nice. Someone's been alarmed by telling themselves. 
positivity comes from positivity. Only positive thoughts come from positive words. Only positive actions come from positive thoughts. Only positive results come from positive actions. That was a mouthful. So maybe you can start, we can start now, and you can repeat after me, in your mind. Sleeping is easy for me. Sleeping is easy. 